Um, man, y'all know me. Uh, no, I, I usually like to just get into the poems, but um, I, I have two um, uh, two two things. Uh, thank Quiet Lightning again for all uh, really that they've done for um, writing for many, 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 many moons, and a lot of your. Uh, a lot of your favorite Avengers come out of that school, <laughs> you know what I mean? So shout out to that. And uh, I, I wanted to um, uh, bring uh, again and again into the room uh, this uh, sister named uh, Tanya Ingram, who just passed away, um, you know, at a, a pretty early age, uh, who, you know, I, I had the, you know, the kind of cosmic treat of meeting when she was a kid, kid, well, I was a kid, and she was a kid, kid, kid. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she had, she was already, like, facilitating a brilliance and, um, like, the best part of, of, of curiosity uh, and commentary, um, just beyond all of our years combined. And she had a long journey with uh, lupus, um, and so she she recently passed. I just hope everyone look her up um, and and uh, and sharing and, and uh, you know even if it's just to yourself sharing the celebration of what was a really beautiful life. And, uh, uh, a lot of God can happen in three seconds. Uh, not much heaven though. Here's a man before a fight. A leave me alone type character, emerging from the penniless death of a one-way street fiction. A fancy way of saying I'm gonna make it even if I have to drive backwards. All I have is chord changes in a thousand backhands, driving the street like I'm choking it. Car full of nephews, hasn't been a son since November. And it hasn't been a street I can't choke to death, this city better back down. You see this gun on the table? And something about staring until it all feels stable. Why wouldn't I protect everyone on my death sleep late? My son better be quick. My daughter better shoot first because we fall for no one. We fall for nothing, okay? The first thing you'll feel is the heat. This lady would tell me, trying to tell me about possession, drink life neat, is what I'm mostly hearing. Most of the world leaves me alone to breathe small like a giant, to go to jail every once in a while when the genocide kicks up in late May, when politicians have too easy a time. I'm guessing backwards out of one-way street in honor of myself and in honor of you if you understand the nature of the world. How long I been just like my father? When hell of a resemblance says the anxiety of the neighborhood. This is a crossroads or a crossroads narrative. It's so much crossroads. People get in the habit of turning back, turn back. Only find themselves remembering me, but not my last words. A man before a fight. You'll feel the heat, but there's nothing to keep in mind. There's nothing to remember. Really, there's nothing to be. It's just this moment, then another, then stare, then it all becomes stable. Then the table lets go fuzzy and Friday's an unfamiliar face peeking in the window. It's cool to panic for a second. Composer is wasting all your worst enemies. People are marked on that sidewalk. You're the only thing life size. Everybody knows this in a wire hanger empire. When the blood stops walking, that feeling isn't father enough to be permission to fold. You better swing one more time. You know that father of yours rose from the grave and said, just give me five more minutes. He said running water is a myth. And it's us who are running up, down, and all alongside this water. And people don't rise from the grave. They not laid down neither. It's us who flip all around their bodies. So beware when the people around you look like they about to jump. It might be your time. You'll feel the heat. And when four walls demand to be four walls and the earth outside, mutes don't panic. Don't try to recreate the earth outside. Don't tell jokes to yourself. Don't even talk disrespectfully to the four walls. Instead, unclench your fists and walk away. There might be heaven if you understand the nature of the world. And from a, you know, a two-floor skyline, an abandoned house once talked to me. It said, young man, you are heroic and 10 years old among 20 generations of friends. Your friends will free fall away. They'll free fall up. They will free fall the walls with fifth grade speed to industrial paint behind secondhand fences. Young man, use quick knife tones. Be bone and brass, be last laugh music. You're always leaving. Always want to change the clothes from the door of life and escape. A two floor skyline says you the guy that dies in the middle. The friend more blues and skin. The face of cheap hotel schizophrenics can place with their 90 mile per hour right eyes among dry heat killers, once children, three feet high and roaming and repeating and aiming at cotton mirrors that hang on breathing walls. You are 10 years old. 
tagging along, yawning at well-lit violence, whistling tool shop songs. You will be useful. You will be high and alone. Flying on a nephew dragon from a $20 family in a sky that calls itself just more soil. Around walls that are just walls, except these walls suggest you make wives out of highs and currency. Here the air is polite to sleepy glass and bullying walls. Young man, you will come to admit that sometimes suicide is power because some people live stronger as ghosts. And sometimes the afterlife empties billions of souls into objects like playground bullets and abandoned door frames. Even broken glass will prove it has voice too. There are 24 hours behind your back. Look over your shoulder right now. Can you hear it? The sound of drums punching themselves out. The sound of piano parts learned in between the Assassination attempts, be bone and brass, be bone enough for two souls, be invincible again. Suffer red eyed accents, professional fingertips, gifted victims, six in the morning beer, the first month of probation, the shot at the wall, see these words that shouldn't be home, look behind you again. Be invincible again, be windward, be a sad machete, be her son, be a thief, steal his back, laugh too long, and never look away. The afterlife will empty and walk you home. Uh, these little man, societies, they wander together like hopeful drops of a virus. Citizen testaments bent on offering me a nation of breadwinners to hold me back like it's a Brinks. I wrinkle the concrete sometimes like flesh. My Martin Luther King permanence turned away from a podium into the reeds like God is a dangerous twin. Black August to the mountaintop balcony on my bedroom floor. You know they steal you from the earth itself and suspend you in your broken neck from their foolish euphoria. From the loyalty oath of their gray superstitions, loyalty oath of their agrarian reform, I return to my mother completely disrespected. For peeling the heat off of purgatory, they kill poets like me. Walk me away from my poems never to be heard from again. In this final industrial complex of bloodlines picked over, picked through, sporting spirits with death of your devil at least half made. Police become a pretty word. I'm reading a lynch mob shoestrings like they were tea leaves, teaching you how to write about cities. It's the 25th century in the mirror, people. Tyranny against your chump change. You're a chump to be mocked even with a gun in your car. A cubit of needlework spell tune for the proletariat, the relapse ministry. Talented people curled up in a fetal position next to a diamond. Dying, just another service day in the theatrics, a tea house fascism, in a bouquet of surveillance cameras, in the poverty of God. New blue eyes, uh, corpses of water, a newly potted presidency of one big shiny coin if you ask an animated capitalism and other non-literal voids killing is white freedom the deification of hyphens medicine bread and picture shows great protesters in LA guests of our ink drop kicking rose in the graveyard DC mink like a stone torn in half the pen advances despite CIA guideposts despite non-African past and futures a metaphorical but not surreal day in a horn written life horn player improvising king like a radio prize fight featuring Shango himself a real hand sweeps the land of racism may I return to the ground may I make progress with the gun on our mother Emmanuel they put on music that evening a swinging tight body language for you to drink with fermented five dollar bills for your body language some applause my past stomach lining neither good Good thing nor bad thing like being psychic on the way to a lethal injection. Here to sit you down with Lady Day. Lady Day leading you through surrender their souls to Africa too soon. Potty thought floating in a cup of water she saved me. Accessing my stomach. Accessing the love of the American lynch. Cold sleeves with an avalanche to the wrist. Our mother Emmanuel avalanche to the sharp keys. Pain. The deal you make with pain. Piano makes sense for them. Laying hands on the world gradually. Addressing the bend of necks on the streets of the north. Traveler sailing in pain. Repeating pain in the north. Ten trigger fingers on that piano if harmony would have me. Putting a hundred fights on every direction. Offered her Lady Day, leaning on trees again. Recruiting the countryside itself, saying, lay your plan on this light. And I mean, make your poems a corner pocket event. I've greeted the blues itself. America may clean my dead body, but will never include me. There goes the poet. <laughs> killing without killing. Never mind this painting of your language, man. I, I may I be a uh, meaningful lynching. A crow's passing, good and dead by the afternoon. I go to the railroad tracks and follow them to the station of my enemies. A cobalt-toothed man pitches pennies at my mugshot negative all over the United States. There are toddlers in the rock. I see why everyone out here got in the big cosmic basket and why blood agreements mean a lot and why I get shot back at. I understand the psycho-spiritual refusal to write white history to take the glass freeway. White skin tattooed on my right forearm ricochet sewage near where I collapse into a rat-infested manhood. My new existence is living graffiti in the kitchen with a lot of gun cylinders to hack up. House of God in part. No cops in part. My body brings down the Christmas. The new bullets pray over blankets made from the old bullets. Pray over the 28th hour's next beauty mark. Extrajudicial Confederate statue restoration. The waistband before the next protest post. That, by the way, uh, time is not an illusion, Your Honor. I will save your desk for last. You are witty, Your Honor. You're moving money again, Your Honor. It's only raining one thing. 
non-white cops. And prison guard shadows reminded me of spoiled milk floating on an oil spill. The neighborhood making a lot of fuss over his demise. A new leg for a Black Panther party. Malcolm X's barroom jacket slung over my son's shoulder. The figment of village of new news to a new white preacher. All in an abstract painting of a president. Bought slavery some time, didn't it? The tension screeches of military boats in election Tuesday. Cars a cold-blooded study in leg irons. Proof that some white people have actually fondled nooses. That sundown couples made their vows of love over opaque piece plastic and boat action audiences. The mega ever second is definitely my favorite law of science. Fondled news clippings and primitive Methodist, my arm chains imperialism. Simple policing versus structural frenzies. Elementary school script versus even wider white spectrums. Artless bleeding and the challenge of watching civilians think. Terrible rituals they have around the corner. They let their elders beg for public mercy. Man, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen these kids' heads and the elves myself and see how much gravy spills out of family crest. Modern fans of war. What, what the fuck with their t-shirt poems and t-shirt guilt and me having the cheapest pair of shoes on on the bus, I had no choice but to read the city walls for signs of my life.